Project 2015 Mac Mini. Okay, today is finally the day I actually went and picked up an SSD drive. It's a 480 gigabyte drive, PNY. I figured uh, the brand probably didn't matter because they're probably all made in the same factory. I also, you'll notice, picked up an iFixit toolkit driver kit here because that is a special tool that I need. And this is the actual Mac Mini before we got started. And hopefully by the time we finish, it'll look the same. Okay, so I'm not going to give you an exact step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this because there's a really, really good video which I'll link in the description below. But I'm just going to talk about some of the things I ran into. You definitely need to get a special torque screw or torque screwdriver. You'll notice right in the middle there's a little piece of metal that sticks up that doesn't allow a normal torque screw to be used. Thank you, Apple. Once we got that thing popped off, you'll notice that the Wi-Fi adapter is still connected. So you gotta be careful here, it's really small. Everything in here is really small and delicate. So follow the instructions very carefully. After numerous bolts and things like that, we got the, the CPU cooler fan off. And then to the right there, this is the whole logic board, the whole CPU motherboard and everything right there. Okay, and now this is at the point where I got down to the, the original drive, which is a 5400 RPM slow spinning drive. And that's the actual power supply right there. So all this stuff is just crammed in a little place and I try to lay out the screws as best as possible. And it's that way I didn't forget. But thanks to this video right here, which again, I'll link down in the description below. It was rather straightforward. So here's the two drives. I took some of the old sticky pads off the original one and slapped them on the new SSD right there. And again, this is the middle of the road, one terabyte spinning drive version. It costs about $6.99 if I remember correctly. Um, and I bought this purposely knowing, if, knowing that I would actually be replacing this drive with an SSD down the road. So check out these boot times of like, not boot times, but launch times of iMovie. Previously, this thing would take 30 seconds to, to launch. It would be hopping up and down all around, just waiting and waiting. Okay, so let's go ahead and time this boot time. And um, my previous one, I believe, is a, like at the one minute mark or 105 mark. But this one comes in at about 16 seconds. And a, and a little bit of change. We'll, I'll pause it right here when it actually shows some of the... Yep, 1612, basically. When we first get the signs of actually booting. Unbelievable. Best thing that you can do. So let's go ahead and do the shutdown real quick before we end the video. Go ahead and click the shutdown button and look for the darkness of the screen right there. Bam. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Highly recommend if you have a 2015 Mac Mini with a spinning drive to brave it and upgrade to SSD.